quarantine code. We have four little starbursts. Pink, dark pink, cherry red, bloody maroon. Don't put your fingers on it. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I got this. Good. How are you dealing with COVID? <laughs> <laughs> Every single time I go outside, I'm like scared, I'm like cautious, I feel like I'm like about to dodge some zombies or something. It's a weird time right now. Keep your hands clean. Just wash your hands. Wash your hands periodically. Like every 10 to 20 minutes. Seriously. The biggest thing that we need to do is go get what we need and get back in the house. If you gotta go out and get groceries, go get them, head straight back. Don't be out, don't be going to movies, don't be going to do public things, don't be going places where there's a bunch of people because we need to slow down the speed of the spread, if that makes sense. Another creative that I follow is a dude named Chris off the Becky and Chris channel and he put out a video I think yesterday or the day before kind of breaking it down because he is also a doctor not only a content creator and the way that he kind of broke it down was really informative so I'm gonna link that down below for you guys to go watch go check that out go like their video go just check them out make sure that you're getting factual information <laughs> So use this time right now not to be like in a negative space like oh my god the world's ending it's not ending people are getting sick but there's many ways to put this into a positive direction if you're a music artist watching this it is a great time to be posting music online right now because social media is 180 percent higher than normal right now people are all over the internet because they're not really going out and doing things like normal also there's like two months of no live concerts events etc so music artists right now are going to be hungry they're going to be looking for money so that means cheap features if you got money saved up if you got budget saved up hit those artists up that you're looking at and you really enjoy and see if you can get you a cheap feature right now that would be a good time but I know this channel is based on filmmakers and photographers so y'all want to know like some stuff that you should be doing spend your time right now doing what you've been telling yourself you're gonna do but you've been procrastinating on it I know a lot a lot a lot of people have been saying they want to make YouTube channels if that's something that you've been wanting to do making a YouTube channel now's the best time you're in the house you got time all people aren't working they're working from home now is the perfect time to write you up some blueprints pick your camera up start shooting and start uploading to your YouTube channel any type of content that is from photographers going out taking pictures in a secluded area obviously nature don't go to like public places where there's a bunch of people if there's even like a bunch of people out at public places right now maybe the grocery stores are packed but like I don't know honestly it's the same with music videos and like video production as well right now if you're working with somebody just make sure that you both are clean make sure that everybody's washing their hands make sure nobody's coughing on each other just be safe be cautious be sanitary Wash your hands. <sighs> I'm so glad that like I don't gotta go outside or do anything though. Is because it's like I don't need to go spend money. That's the greatest thing about all this. I'm not spending a lot of money. It has been a second since I dropped the vlog crazy anyway what's up with you guys man drop me a comment let me know what you've been up to what you've been working on i'm gonna let you guys know what i've been working on i've been doing a lot of different projects that i haven't even been posting i don't even know where to post them because instagram is like a place where i like to post pictures and it's like i've had a formula of the way i'm posting so i'm trying to kind of figure out my formula of what i want to start posting on there now and how i post the projects that i work on some projects aren't mine and i work on but i want to post them but i don't know how to so i'm just trying to figure out my formula right now recently i've been helping my boy Waxy work on a lot of stuff on the back end i've been shooting b-roll shots for him for certain projects on his youtube certain projects on instagram i've been doing some music video help uh dp some stuff for my boy joe moore i've also done some dp work and helped out with my boy carlton banks on some music video sets pretty i've just been doing a lot of work with other people collaborations everything is freaking just turning out cool man i've been having a great time but i need to finish up a lot of projects over the past few weeks my son he was in school he got sick he got the flu and there was a bunch of stuff and i've just been and having no time to finish up stuff like my Colorado road trip blog, other projects that I've been working on for YouTube. It's just a lot of stuff that I haven't got a chance to finish up and wrap up because it's just been a bunch of stuff going on. It's time to get these things done. I'm hungry right now. I'm gonna have to go grab some food. Let's go get it.
So to be completely honest with you, one of the reasons why I haven't been getting a lot of videos done is because of planning. I haven't been planning things properly. So that comes with like pre-production of music videos or planning out YouTube videos or stuff like that. But we're gonna talk about a cool place where you can learn about pre-production. So pre-production is super important. It's super crucial because it gives you like a checklist so you can get in, get what you need, and get out and be done and not be scrambling. When you're scrambling, you're all over the place. And my boy, my best friend, YC Imogen, he actually has a class on pre-production for music videos. But you can take these rules and these guidelines and apply them to any type of video scenario. So without a doubt, this video is sponsored by the homies over at Skillshare. And that's where the video from my best friend YC Imogen is at, it's on Skillshare. If you aren't familiar with what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community where you can learn, discover, and explore creativity. Not only does Skillshare have pre-production class by YC Imogen, it has classes on photography, classes on videography, classes on how to edit video and photo, classes on interior design, classes on a ton of different things outside of that. Skillshare is just an amazing place for you to go and learn about a lot of different topics. One thing that I learned from YC Imogen on the Skillshare platform is to make a list, have a list of things to do and check them off as you do it. That way you're not just running gun and scrambling and trying to figure out what you need and what you don't need and not knowing what you've already got. You got everything in order, boom, you knock one thing out, you knock the next thing out. By the time you know it, you got everything you need and now you're all structured to go back and get your edit popping. Skillshare is like a creative community. If you're looking to become a member, join the community and start learning, it's incredibly affordable. It's as low as $10 a month, but the first 500 people that use the link down below in the description are gonna get two months free of Skillshare. I got you. I'm gonna make sure that you can learn for free. Only the first 500 people. The first thing you need to do, make sure you check out Watch the Images course on pre-production. It's amazing, phenomenal. And there's thousands of other topics you can learn in this community on this platform. I need to finish up my lunch, get back to the crib, finish this vlog. First 500 people to use that link, free freaking Skillshare. Let's go. All right, so what am I gonna be doing now? Basically, what I'll be doing from here on out is making sure that I stay in my house, making sure that everything in my house is sanitary, making sure if I ever need to go out, I'm very sanitary and very cautious of the things that I do. Not that I don't already do this. It really seems like hygiene has just become a thing to people, and that's really weird to me. I think it's very important to stay clean, take showers every single day, clean your hands a lot. Every time you use the restroom, every time you go out into public places, this stuff is like automatic. And it just seems like everybody's taking it serious now, which is weird. <laughs> Weird as hell to me. So anyway, extra clean, making sure that things are clean, man. I'm also gonna be working on like the direction of this channel, my YouTube channel. Not only the channel, but my Instagram. What do I wanna be posting on Instagram? What do I want people to be able to learn or take from my Instagram? Same thing with YouTube. What am I gonna be making and creating for people to watch? What will people get from it? Right now is a great time to be organizing and blueprinting out what we're doing, especially for the people that work nine to five jobs or have other jobs and they wanna go full time as a creator. Like I said, this is the perfect time because people are out of work and they have time to sit down and write out blueprints and start taking action. Now you have some time. If you don't, first things first, be safe. Second thing, still take some type of time to plan out what you want to do if you're trying to get away from working for other people. I know a lot of people are just th like think they're waiting for the right time. There's never a right time. It's the same thing as like having a child. There's never a right time to have a child because you never know like things could change today, things could change tomorrow, you never know. There's never a right time for anything. Actually, the right time is now. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I put out some cool little wallpapers for your phones. I made some mobile wallpapers with pictures that I've taken. So if you want to check those out, there's a link down below. You get over to my store and check those out. You having fun? Look at all these toys, dude. You need to clean up. This is this isn't sanitary. You need to clean up. Okay? I love you, dude. Thank you, man. Here's the deal. First of all, what's up guys? Hope you all are doing good in this whole freaking weird pandemic life. So deadlines are deadlines. I have to get this video up by today. Today is March 31st. Yes, a whole like two weeks has gone by. Like I've been editing this same vlog for like the whole month. That shows you how freaking weird this time is with the pandemic and how it's just affecting creatives. I'm not gonna talk about that because I know y'all are sick of probably hearing about this and y'all wanna get back to regular life. But I wanted to let you guys know that I 
I did get rid of my Canon 1DX Mark III. Have the EOS R back again. I bought it yesterday. Best Buy, weird as hell. You pull up, you gotta do a store pickup from ordering online, and they bring you the stuff outside. So weird right now. Let's talk about the 1DX Mark III real quick. So good. I could see myself. That's one thing that I hated about the 1DX Mark III. I couldn't see myself when I wanted to vlog. That's just whatever. They should have put a screen on that. Second thing, when I take raw photos on the 1DX Mark III and put them on my iMac, I can't see them in my folder. I absolutely hate that. I want to be able to go through the folder and pick out the ones that I don't like before I even import them into Lightroom because I want to take up as least as much space. Hate the fact that I can't see the files in an actual folder on my iMac yet. Updated Apple. Another thing I hate about the Canon 1DX Mark III, they haven't dropped a firmware update yet for the 1080p in 24 frames per second and the 4K Ultra HD in 24 frames per second, which is just insane. Like, why has it not been dropped yet? The camera's been out for what, two months now? Please. Was this the third or fourth thing? Anyway, another thing that I hate about the Canon 1DX Mark III is the 5.5K RAW is not compatible with Adobe Premiere Pro yet, which is just stupid to me. Why has Adobe not made an update yet? Like, that was one of the selling features for me, having the RAW capability, and I can't even edit it with the program that I edit in, which is just totally whack. I'm not gonna compress the footage down to a different file either because then I lose the raw capabilities, which makes it pointless. So it's like, ah. Another thing that I disliked about the camera is the pictures were not coming out crispy like the 1DX Mark II. And I'm sitting here wondering, how can you make a more expensive camera, a better upgraded version, but the pictures are not as crispy and sharp as the 1DX Mark II? Now, let me say, I could have had a defective camera. It could have been a defective Canon 1DX Mark III with these issues happening because it was a new camera. You know, sometimes they come out and some are defective, but I don't know. I don't got time for that. I need to make content now so I needed to send that back and get a refund for that because that camera is expensive in total I almost spent around eight thousand dollars for that camera and memory cards which is up there man that's up there so I'm excited to be getting my money back I went and bought this EOS R which was only around nineteen hundred dollars but anyway EOS R Canon 1DX Mark II these are the two cameras that I'm rocking with for the 2020 up until the point where that R5 drops I know a lot of you are gonna be in the comments and a lot of people were in my DMs when I posted on Instagram about the 1DX Mark III talking about the R5 and why didn't I just get the R5 yo you should look into the R5 listen the spec sheet is not all the way confirmed it's not out yet the camera is not out yet I want to wait till I see confirmed spec sheet full spec sheet okay Okay, I'm not going off rumors. I will wait until it comes out. I will pick it up. I will test it. I will let you guys know what I think about it. And if I feel like it should be an upgrade from this R or the 1DX Mark II, if I think, if I think it's that good, then I'll get it. But until then, I have to make content. I don't have time to wait for an R5 that's not freaking announced yet. So save the comments and the DMs because I'm using the R and the 1DX Mark II. That 1DX3, trash. Bye. Yo, I'll see you guys in the next video. I gotta go. I gotta go to my chiropractor. What time is it? I got 10 minutes to get to my chiropractor. I gotta go.